24. Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. We will take you down to the bayfront to start you out. A little contrast with the sky cams here. And you can see even a little brightening of the skies. This band has relaxed. It's gone back out over the lake towards Presque Island. It just kind of plays footsie with us uh, throughout uh, times last night and today. And it'll do it again tonight and tomorrow. And by us, I mean residents north of Interstate 90. How about you guys to the south? Let's take a look at Meadville. Go down to Crawford County on our Erie Auto Credit Cam. And what you're going to see here is a beautiful Sunset uh, off the uh, sides of the buildings here, these beautiful red brick buildings near Second District Elementary. So, you know, a whole lot of cold everywhere, but the lake effect snow is to the north. Let's talk about the cold. And again, Erie at zero at the airport, everyone else below zero. Okay, those are just the temperatures on the thermometers. You factor in the wind, which other than Warren is 10 to 17 miles per hour, and you get wind chills or feels like temperatures. 14 to 33 degrees below zero. So this is the coldest night. And as we prepare, the cold air will last into Friday morning, but the temperatures continuing to drop tonight into tomorrow, Thursday morning. And you just saw the wind chills as low as 35 below. So that's where you can get your frostbite in 10 minutes. And it's a gradual step up process as you look at Meadville right there. So let's do you some storm tracker here. And you can see that band just sitting offshore. Now, if you look to the upper portions of your screens there, you can see Northern Chautauqua County and behind the Your Weather Authority, we've got the Buffalo South Town. So that is where they are actually getting hammered the most from this band. And as we said, at times it comes down into our area. But uh, maybe one to three inches with some locally higher amounts along the lakeshore. But the only advisory for snow is up in the New York State counties. Now, everybody's under the wind chill warning. So again, as you go into Thursday afternoon, Erie, Crawford, as you go into Friday morning, Warren and McKean. So it's really Friday that we start to see the improvement. But let's put everything in perspective here. We're almost up to 10 hours of daylight. A lot of you see a nice sunset right now. Some snow tonight near the lake, bitter cold everywhere into Friday morning. The big warm-up starts this weekend and lasts into next week. And again, we were showing you those temperatures, winds, and here are even the wind or the gusts. So uh, obviously, if you don't have to go out in this stuff, uh, don't. Uh, protect the pets, the elderly, the livestock. Simple rules we've been showing you for days. Fill up your gas tank if it's getting low. And... Uh, let the water drip out of the pipes so they don't freeze. Uh, dress properly if you have to go and have the winter survival kit in shape. So again, as you look at the big picture, you can almost see the clouds just flowing from central Canada. There's the core of the Arctic air that goes over us tonight. And as you can see on your maps in motion, one more trough to deal with. So some snow tonight along the lake shore, bitterly cold into tomorrow. It's still going to be bitterly cold tomorrow night, but things will be winding down. And this warm front is going to bring warmer temperatures as we go into the weekend. So first of all, for tonight along the lake shore, two below to six below, one to three inches of snow possible later on into the morning, maybe a few higher amounts. Watch out for that blowing snow with the winds. Now, if you're south of 90, less than a ch less chance of snow, Edinburgh, Meadville, and Corey, but colder, 9 to 13 below. Those are the actual air temperatures. If you're out to the east, French Creek, Warren, Tyanesta, Blustery, frigid, some snow and blowing snow, 10 to 15 below. So tomorrow, it's still extremely cold with highs of 0 to 5 above, maybe some flakes by the lake. And one more cold night tomorrow night, not as windy, thankfully, still below 0. And then watch this. On Friday, few flakes possible, mainly to the south, 18. Groundhog Day, Saturday, 35 with sunshine. 47 on Sunday with a chance of showers. Rain likely on Monday, close to 50. Off and on showers possible Tuesday and Wednesday, 43 and 49 again. Here we go. Probably drop a little after that, but you know, five out of the next seven above freezing. Check it all out at the website, yourerie.com. And you're broadcasting live this afternoon from the front yard down to Tampa. Tampa, Florida. And uh, you know, <laughs> Two different worlds, but probably a lot of Erie people watching down there. Uh, probably, or a lot of people that lucky they're in Tampa or, or happy they're in Tampa. You got it. Thank you, Tom. Coming up on Jet 24 Action <laughs> News.